All right, so Lorelai is fine. I'm going to roll for Abigail right now. She has advantage, I want to say, because Coral, but let me double check. Too many rolls. Or no, it's plus... Yeah, plus two. Three. You have advantage plus three. in the trench, I think? No, no. It's plus... You have an additional plus one if you use the... Oh, yeah, because the, the trench. trench. So it's plus three. Mm. Plus Not three, fair. plus ten, so plus thirteen. She also has guidance on herself, so... <laughs> Alright, so twenty-six. <laughs> Sophia, might you also roll me stealth plus thirteen? I believe in you. <laughs> Don't. I didn't roll their perception yet. They, if they nat twenty, that's not that no. so hard. Oh, oh my god! god. Hey, you got a twenty. You got a twenty. It's fine. It's fine. No need to die yet. You guys aren't gonna get executed by them. They're probably just gonna arrest you. Yeah, it's, which will lead to execution probably. I mean, uh, as long as you give them answers, you might stay alive. Uh. Alright, I'll try to find your sheet. Garth, you're believing in me, did nothing. Okay. <laughs> I can give you inspiration. If you want, it's up to you. I mean, it is a 20, but at the same time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just because... got a plan. You'll yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. We'll just see what happens. I mean, 20 is still good. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. Not, it's not terrible, plus, so. Yeah. If we're saying that, then we're gonna get a twenty-one, and then I'll, then we'll be screwed. <laughs> oh, the crawl goes plus. Okay. Ooh. We're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get there. Nineteen twenty-nine. All right. So that's the royal guards' turn. You guys have all entered their well, except for Ruhan. Uh, we'll use the same role for Ruhan if they enter it. Whoa. No, they're not, they're not moving. Never mind. Never mind. Disregard what I just said. All right. Barrack's turn. Barrack is just gonna piece the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> he um, just ran like, around the rocks. That was the best plan. Guess what? When you're a seeker, you learn to ditch the slayers when shit begins like comes a knocking for detection. All right, so he is under Cora right now. Theo. Oh god, they do know it's me. Oh no, it's my turn. <laughs> yeah, bruh. <laughs> I like how the stealth game's going so far. Like you guys are, you guys are sort of Actually stuck paying. where you are and stuff. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh. This is going yeah, really well. Um, this is a good design test so far. I like it. I got a plan. Yeah. Oh, uh, I no, no. There are multiple scenarios I was running through. There was a potentiality of you guys just booking it through the tangle thing, except half speed, and they could just go above you and you're fucked. Uh, mm -hmm. But you know, risk versus reward, or do a Varys doing, <laughs> just go around low. Watch as yeah, they go uh, above the rocks and just see him first, uh, like saw bitch. They still roll, is a thing. Mm. As if he as long as he's stealthing, which he's probably gonna do from hereafter, it's still a roll. Mm -hmm. So, oh, what do you want to do? I, mm, how like do I have to roll again if I move? Like if I were to go down, I don't know what would be the point because there wouldn't be much point in moving until they're. If, I would say... if you're still within their area by their turn, you roll. You roll again. Yeah, okay. I might stay where I am. Okay. And wait a bit longer. Ike. Rose. Hmm. I'm doing mental gymnastics. Give me like two seconds. You can mm -hmm. move 30 feet, but if they move above this trench, you're auto detected. Yeah. You can move normal speed at 15 feet and then have a chance of rolling against their perception. Yeah. I don't think. Unless they literally just like can book it at max speed to get over there. I don't think they could get over the trench where I am. Mm -hmm. They have different speeds. Also, if they detect anyone, they immediately move 30 feet. Yeah. And if I move in this trench still within their area, it doesn't proc them, right? If you're still in it by the time it's their turn, it does. Oh, right. So, similar to what we just said. Okay, okay, okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Mm. So it incentivizes you to move, but at the same time, do you move when you know you're just gonna get into a worse situation? Who knows? This is just like Desperado 3! I'm Although going... Desperado, you can throw knives at people and shoot people. I wish we could throw knives at people. She's gonna go up there. Hey, maybe in future times I use this, you guys might be able to like, actually assassinate guards and then just be like, haha, no more detectors on the map. Lol. Criminal campaign. <laughs> Criminal campaign. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just you guys gonna might do ditch criminal the plus ten. Back. I have some ideas kicking around. So yeah, I'm going to, to sadly <laughs> ditch the plus ten stealth and just move max speed up there because I have I have a couple ideas. Okay, 
But for this turn, that's all I can do is just run up there as fast as possible. And also, like, she's blocking this pathway, so if anyone wants to come up here, they would just stop where she is, so she has to kind of keep going anyways. Anyways... Alright, it is now Lorelai's turn. Lorelai's not like you fucking drown her. She can move at 30 feet. <laughs> God, we're just like a wrapped present in like... No, we're like sardines in a can right now. That's a much better analogy because we're all just in this. If they see us, we're fucked. There, now you're within 30 feet of Pass by Trace. Uh, remember, Fred, it does take for you 20 feet of movement to get out of the trench. Yes, I, I am considering some options. Yeah, yeah. Noted. Uh, that is Lorelai's turn, and now it is yours. So, I... about those options. <laughs> about them. You just stay put where you are. Like, that's an option. You have, like, a fucking plus uh, 12 right now, so. The, the Tide's Blessing, how does invoking that work? You just call it in. <laughs> you are burning it all early. Oh no, yeah. I'm telling you guys this right now. This long encounter design, I am definitely 1000% testing a bunch of resource draining stuff, even if it's not combat. Mm. So, like, um, I don't know, so, like, I don't know, dealing with some Eldritch whore or getting detected by guards. I'm liking where it's going so far. I got those um, guard noises in my head right now. But, uh, <laughs> Stop right there, criminal scum! <laughs> oh, I have faced mud crabs tougher than you! The trench. Where um, is would it? Because Rose and Lorelai are both ahead of me. I cannot. You cannot move past them. Correct. Noted. Okay. So that changes things. Uh, and if I were to, if I were to, um, if I were to dash while in this radius, would that be an auto detect or would that be a? If you leave the trench, yes. Okay. But here's the thing, it's it's an auto-notice, not an auto-detect. Oh, so, okay. let's say one of you guys is noticed right now. Again, every round, I'll, I'll start doing it. I'll just do it right now, hypothetical. So, right now, like, you get detected, Korok, you know, nothing happens. Beginning of Ruhan's turn, five feet. Beginning of uh, Abigail's turn, you know, it goes up to ten. Yeah, no, okay, now I understand. If you're in the red oh, circle. Okay. So, oh. in that case, yeah, so just um... keep growing. The thing is, if they move 30 feet, that's a fucking free 30 feet that the red, the red area doesn't have to go to. And if they notice you, they will begin moving towards you. Unless there's multiple people, in which case then... I don't fucking know, I'll decide at the time. So my follow-up question is, could I stealth, use my moon to stealth, and then take the dash action to stealth another stretch? Does that work? No. No. Dashing is, like, you're either stealthed or not stealthed for the turn. Okay. Or until the beginning of your next turn, you're either are or are not stealthed. Which then affects the speed you move on this turn right now. And if you're stealthing, your movement speed is halved? Is that how it works? Well, it's normal, technically, for you guys. It's normal, which is to say, normal movement, difficult terrain, so halved, yes. But if, but I if you have freedom of movement, yeah. then you would have 30 plus 10 stealthed, so 40 stealthed. So I could move forty feet stealth while stealth. Yeah. Okay, that, then that's what I will want. That's what I want to do. I want to invoke the blessing and I want to move uh, stealthily forty feet. Oh, he's going in now. Hey, you can breathe underwater for an hour. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. I mean, say you already have the rebreather on, so I don't know how that works. You can take the mask off for a bit. It's awkward, I guess. So, as you call in the tide's blessing, you could feel the water cut like you cut through it. As if you have like a magical, like hydrophobic, hydrophobic barrier. Uh, you don't notice the water breathing yet because you saw the re rerun, but it's like it's like that episode of Metal Aquaps where um, Toki was breathing uh, liquid oxygen for whatever reason. I don't think that's a real thing, but it was very funny. It'll be like that. Also, watch Metal Aquaps. It's a really brutal but amusing show. Yeah, and except these, for Doctor. Uh, uh, these areas here. Those are Tangle Forests. Like like this one? Yeah, they're the same. Uh, no, okay. okay, so I think uh, I want to stealth uh, here. It would take 20 feet to get up out of the trench. Okay, so I can't reach there in one go? You could potentially reach like this lower section. Yeah, so you could reach like, like this one, like, like this square. Thing is, the edge of the 
the they, rules are so far, just like when like... spells hit you, if you if the if it occupies fifty percent or more of that space, then it's then it's good. Okay, what if I moved here? Uh, that's uh, that's 20 still twenty feet though. to get out, yeah. and then twenty feet of movement, so you can't make it. Not not while wow. Okay. Um, uh, they can make it here. And and that is in the patch, yeah. That is in the patch. Okay, then I will move there. I'll move yeah, here. Was it, was it this square? That's why, yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll move. All there. right. So while you're in here, while you're in the tangle force, your movement speed is halved, but you have advantage on stealth. Yeah. Unless oh, they're directly above you, in which case it's an oh, no, it's not a disadvantage. My bad. It's not an auto attack. It's an automatic minus two. Hmm. So you can still succeed. Potentially, you can still succeed. Yes. So what do I roll? A stealth. Uh, nothing yet because it's not their turn. It, it procs again on their turn. Okay, noted. It's either when you first enter it or on their turn. All right, Ruhan, I think I already know what your plan is, but uh, lay it out for us. Yep, action dash, action surge dash. So it's fifteen. That's forty-five. You. Are... If you dash, you're not stealthing. Keep that in mind. Right. Uh. Yeah. No, that's fine. I... So if they move into this area, you're auto detected. Okay. Uh, I think I'm good. I'm. If I've done my math right. That's up to like I'm not I'm not I'm just picturing like the concepts. I don't know if like yeah, gotcha. Yeah, I'm trying to get us to learn it first so I can we can use it later. Hmm. All right, Abigail's turn. She casts invisibility on herself. Yeet. She looks at you, Fia, and yeah. just does like a little hand thing, like bye bye. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh, does invisibility actually have a verbal component? If so, then she has advantage, but she also has advantage, so it doesn't fucking matter for this turn. And then on advantage, and then every turn afterwards, it's disadvantage. So let's find out. Does it even have a verbal component? I imagine it does. Most spells do. It does have a verbal component. Alright, so nothing happens for her next roll, essentially, except the plus modifier. And while invisible, she's just gonna move right here. She's just gonna move a little bit. Get there. All right. Royal Guard start. Now, it's they can they can move. So let's let's do this. Oh, by the way, I don't have my military ID in here. Oh, you need your military ID. I just realized that they can just move like one. Is that, is that? I think it's just a matter of they just move to their next adjacent. Retiree. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, that's funny. May all of you inside that yellow area make me stealth. Well, they rolls, give it to please. veterans, right? Okay, so it doesn't matter if it's expired. Also, oh, you're uh, not muted. Is do I make it? This a, is my uh, asket card. Straight roll. You oh, make it. A, card. Card. I don't know. Oh, you're not muted. Not in my wallet. You might just have to mute him. I don't think you can hear him. Ooh, it'll be here. In... That's Ooh, fine. That's not that. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Too high the, thing is, the thing is, if they nat 20, 22. they can still see you. 22. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Are they going to nat 20? Probably not, right? Probably not. Probably not. Probably 16 not. plus. Do I want to so it's say 16 plus 13 for you. So 29. You're at 22. Abigail has both advantage and disadvantage for this, so care. nothing fucking matters. I just don't want to get the wrong so, thing. She's in the radius, so plus 12. Plus 12 for <laughs> Abigail. I got other headphones. Yeah, Abigail's fucking fine. Oh, I thought that was done. <laughs> oh, we'll get there, don't worry. And then Lorelai, she's not in any cover right now. Plus she 10. Has, yeah. 29. She's got some bonkers. Oh, no oh, shit! Alright, let's see what they roll. I'm spend time with my father-in-law. Uh, is Quality outside, bonding yeah. time. We're gonna hear all about his butthole. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> sorry about his father in law. I think Owen's Dude. feeding us information now. My father in law will not stop talking about his butthole problems, and um, he kills me every conversation. <laughs> you guys are not detected. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a great them. recording, by the way. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. <laughs> right. Truly. I mean, now, I'm really glad to know that there's a man I know out there who has butthole problems. So. Um. Lorelai has telepathic communication set up with all of you right now. Mm. She does note that it does look like they're going to accelerate their search packing soon. How about, uh, how about no? How about you find some cover? <laughs> how about no? <laughs> uh, what's, hmm. 
Alright, so Barak. Knowing that they're going to accelerate their search pattern and move away from where he is, he's going to move 30 feet. No stealth, no problem. Am I right? Am I right? Fia, it's your turn. <sighs> okay. Um, so I kind of want to go like down and then up, but... Eh. You got you got to go like... You got to pick a direction and fucking book it at this point because you're dangerously close now. I know, I know. Um, yeah, okay. This is going well. Are you sure? For me it is. The time wise it's going very well, yes. <laughs> it has tension, but no combat. That's what I was aiming for. Uh, and it's relatively simple to keep doing it, so yeah. Okay, yeah, I wanna move down and then Yeah, eventually get behind this rock. Okay. Um, oh no, but then I'd, it's I'd have to dash and then it's no cover. <sighs> It's also 20 feet uh, to move upwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another thing, too. I just say it takes a like a turn's worth of movement. It's simple. Though. In 10 county, it's 20 feet up, but I don't want to like, spend two. It's like, like you put you in an awkward like, middle point. Yeah. It takes your movement speed to move up. Also, I'm refreshing my role playing as well. Yeah. Thank you, Vaughn. See this, um, what is it, kelp? The, the square green bit? What was that again? Seaweed? Oh, okay. well, light which, green. Which green I'm not in the roll right now. I'm every, every oh, fresh. sorry. Um, is it dark green or light green in the middle? Uh, light green. That is kelp, yeah. That would give you a plus one. If it's Se seaweed if it's, pack. Yeah, it's yeah. a seaweed pack. Okay. If you're in the trench, it gives a plus two. If you're not in the trench, it gives a plus one. Okay, is uh, the particular bit I'm looking at, I don't know if that's on top of the trench or... It's both. Both, okay. Both. I think you... So if I were... It's just that only one person can occupy it. Top, top or bottom. Okay. Because I didn't know which way you guys were going to go. Yeah, okay. So if I were to go down here and move up, I would be concealed by that. For plus one. Yes. Yeah, okay. And I remain stealthed, so... Yes. And then how much room would that give me? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I could potentially get behind it my next turn. So that's that. I mean, if you decide to dash while you're within their sight range, you're automatically noticed. Yeah, but I could still do a rule to pass it. No, if you're I... automatically noticed, there's no stealth roll, no passing go, no perception checks, you are noticed. You are, you... you are caught, but you're noticed. You would have to wait until you're out of their detection range, if you ever get out of their detection range. Wait, to do that. how big this boy is. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just so you know, there's not one palace guard there. There's like an entire squad, like 12 of them on that vessel you guys are just on, looking out every way. So you're not dodging one guy. You're, did you're dodging about four hippocampi and 12 guys. Okay. Maybe if I stayed in the ditch and then maybe went over here to this one when they come over this direction? Mm -hmm. <sighs> So I've been thinking this like whole turn, I still don't know where to go. I mean, you already moved up and out of the trench, didn't you? So. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was just moving about. <laughs> you can just stay put. I could stay put. It's nice and safe there, you got a nice plus three. You know what, I'll move up here, because at least that way, if it does move over, I've still got the protection of it coming in that direction. Well, if you're in, like, the catch with the coral stuff is if you're not detected, not noticed, it will constantly provide you stealth benefit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so it's, not like, any... it's not like if they're directly above you, it does anything like that. It's just a matter of have you been noticed yet. Okay. Is there any advantage to being hidden behind a wall that's directly not in their line of sight? Because if I was here, obviously there's a big wall between me and this just roll. That's already built into the trench stuff. You can move. Yeah, without, okay. You can move your normal speed without stealthing until they're directly like if they have, like they're in the trench themselves, essentially. And it gives a plus one better for the coral stuff. So the coral okay. out here where Eric's at and the coral you're at are have two different numbers. All right. Yeah. Uh, I deeply regret not just following Vatic the first chance See? I got. See? See? He knows what's up. <laughs> he knows what's up. Like, he does know what's up. Also, by um, the way, the wind condition isn't one person gets to the other side, like a pawn in a game of chess, 
It's all of you have to get to the other side. Okay. You want to get to basically this line upward. So okay. you guys can have some cover, some rocks, some kelp, or tangles, rather. But yeah, you guys have to be there. All of you. All right, in that all case, right. I'm going to stay in the in the trench. <laughs> stay in the trench? All right, all right. I'll just move to this little square here. Uh, Hi. Hi. I'm scared, guys. <laughs> That's fine. You guys are fine. You guys haven't even been detected yet. You guys have that sweet plus 10 for like two people left. Hey, Crash. Yeah. I am about to have to run like I told you about. I'll, I'll still uh, be listening. But uh, do you want me to just do like move now? Yeah, you can run your turn and. Um... I think I already know what your plan is. Is just gonna yeah. Go I'm just gonna table. I'm just gonna hit this large way over here. Okay. And if they start moving away from me, start dashing. Gotcha. Okay. And you're gonna take cover behind the stones or behind? Imagine behind the stones because it's just coral. But do I take cover yeah. behind the stones? Gotcha. Yeah, that works. Uh, there will be combat this session, ideally. Um, so oh yeah, I'll be back in like 30, 40 minutes tops. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that's that's why. Yeah, 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 we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're going to take a five-minute break after this, probably, because tension. Yeah, uh, as as... Uh, we'll do O's turn right now, because you have to go. So. Absolutely. Wait, did you already move? I think he did. Yeah, yeah, I already, I already moved. Oh, okay. It's all good. Just... See, O's already figured out the mini game, dude. <laughs> Just He's already figured out the whole campaign. 15 and done. Yeah. Hit, hit the corner. I'm basically inverting Varric. Right. New shape. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Oh, yeah. They go around the uh, edges. Rose, we all just... Rose says, take it, say, keep me going, then. Let's keep me going. Sure, sure, sure. Um, You're like... Almost there to some some cover. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Uh, if okay, if that being I, said, if they move, I will tell you right now, their accelerated speed is sixty feet. <laughs> so, AKA their normal speed. <laughs> yes. So, uh, focus. So, if I move like fifteen feet, so just like standard movement, would I be able to like use a cantrip or something along those lines? If I want, depends to. on what the cantrip is. Okay. Because uh, remember, if it has a verbal component, you now have disadvantage on your next self check. Yes, that's what I was thinking. That's that's where my debate is coming in. It's like, do I risk it? Do I not? Do I risk it? Do I not? Um, but if I dash, straight up just no. If you dash... To get to the Yeah, that would take your action and stuff. Like, okay. yeah, you know, like... I'm like, this is only loosely based on D&D stuff, as well as, like, the video game, like, the original intent of it. So it's, it's a weird mishmash right now. The thing is, like, if you dash and get up to go over here and they move into the trench, there's no role involved with them detecting you. They will just see you. Me. Yeah, because these things are probably modifiers to a stealth roll. But if there's no stealth roll, then it doesn't matter. In technicality, they could pass directly over you while you're in the trench and still not notice you. That is a that that can't happen. Especially if you have a pass without trace on you. But it's just a matter Which that's all this entire minigame is. Do I want to do it? Do I dare do it? Yeah. The only problem is Lorelai's kind of following me down this way, so if I go up there and she comes near where I am, and those guys go straight over her, shit. <laughs> Actually, she has really good stealth, so she'll probably, probably she'll be fine. Probably. And to get well, out Lorelai of this... might move a different direction at this rate, because a lot of people are, like, we're Yeah, people here. are, like, stuck over there. Um, the thing is, they're all going to move, like, in this area, so moving up right now might not be ideal. So she might stay in the trench of you. Does it judge movement by, like, the edge, or does it judge movement by, like, the center? I shouldn't be doing I, that. I judge movement by the edge, because that's the, the only edge. way you can properly track it. So, right. like, this is the space in which this square of that token is going to be. Okay, so that'd be just clipping. Mm, okay. Now my question it would be is... enough to be considered looking down upon the trench. Yeah. Now, my only question is, if they did go there, would they go up, or would they go down? Because if they go up on the trench, I'm royally fucked. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hmm. And I'd have to swim up. If I swim up, would I be able to make it to like one of these spots to be concealed? It takes your movement to just get out of the trench. Uh, Ball scout. God, and if you back, dude, this trench was a bad idea. <laughs> the thing is, okay. I'll start hoping that I roll a two, and they literally just came in at where the trench was, and then you guys just <laughs> they're just following <laughs> us. Well, then what would happen probably is you guys would scatter left and right, not, and yeah. just not be in the trench. So, was it like one, two, and then three? Correct. Okay. Cool. Anyways, uh, I'm spending too much time on this. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm, I'm trying to think of a way to, like, assist people. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 20. I mean, considering how two people are but literally on like, the polar opposites of the fucking encounter map, I'm not sure yeah. that's a wise idea. Because I, I have, like, thaumaturgy, so I could, like, make, like, a booming voice or something, like, off in, like, this direction or something. But then... They would just I like, will say that the space you're in right there is not considered under the coral. Oh, it, it doesn't occupy more than yeah. It doesn't uh, occupy more than fifty percent of the square. If that matters to you at all. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That matters massively. Yes. <laughs> uh, that changed up literally everything. Then. Uh, fuck. I can't make it to spot that the coral. Be. Unless like if I'm on that like I can make it to this square, but I think that would be outside the trench, wouldn't it? I'll let you be in between on the line and count it, if you want. Okay. Let me double check make sure that's 35, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. That's where she wants to go? Well, the thing is, you won't be stealthed if you dash there. Remember that. Oh, I want to... Oh, fucking God bless it. Hmm. The mechanic's going well. It offers a lot of conundrum. You could just stay there. That's a horrible idea. We got plus 10 to stealth. That's more modifiers than any of the environment could possibly give you. Yeah, but this thing could go over me, like, instantly. It doesn't matter if it goes over you. As long as you're not standing up and it goes over you, it doesn't matter. So you move 15 feet right now and don't make it to the coral, and it goes over you, you still roll. It doesn't auto-detect you. Hmm. You can okay. equivalent this as like Kronk in Emperor's New Groove hugging the wall and going da, 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 da. And Except then, you shut the fuck up about it. And you're not the side of Kronk. I'm not yeah. as cool as Kronk. That is you, you're stuck between a... Rock and a hard place? Bad Rock and a hard place? Yeah. You got bad options on all side, Garth. You just yeah. take the lesser of all evils. Hidden, stealth, detector, below, above them. Minus two to her stealth check. What is this about? Why it's only if you're in the tangle. Yeah, why would you Guys, go in the tangle? It's okay. If Rose gets caught, they'll just think she's like some sea devil and kill her. We can leave. She <laughs> keen. <laughs> the reason you have a minus two if they're directly above you in the tangle is because tangles only work directionally. If you look top down at, at like a cornfield, guess what? You can see the motherfuckers in the cornfield pretty fucking easily. But you're not in the tangle forest, right? You're fine. No. I was debating going in there, but then it's like, you don't get a benefit from going in there, so... Well, in order to get in there, you would have to dash. Which is an auto-detect as soon as you entered this space. No, fuck. Um... I'll just stay there and see what happens then. Because <laughs> there's Very no well. good option. That's probably your best option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lorelai, she's got 30 feet. She spends 20 of it to get out of the trench. Let's see, 15 remaining, actually. Is it really 20 or 15? 15 for some of you, but 20 for some of you. Uh, what's her movement speed? 30. So then it would well, just be 15. Is it, is it 35? Is it 35 actually? Am I drunk? No, it's, that's right. She's not level 6. Yes, we had the, you had this discussion with yourself a minute ago. So I think she would have 15 then if when she pops out. Meaning, uh oh. <laughs> yeah. She might be able to get to the forest. She can't dash, so that's a problem. She doesn't have any magic I can help her now that she has any fucking second little spell slots left. Oh well. She's gonna stay put. Nice and calm. Korik. You can yeah. move into this area and benefit pass by a tree. That means that they move above you, that's minus two, but you have a plus eight, so it's like still better than like a lot of shit in this map. Yeah, yeah. So let's see, 20 feet, right? Because halved in the kelp. Stealthing would be 10. Or halved twice. Oh, okay. Because your normal... S oh, wait, no, that's right. You have the fucking... You called in the blessing. That's right. Never mind. I'm drunk. Yeah. So yeah, it'd be 20 feet. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to move here. Move it. I really wish there was a way for me to make like a time lapse of all this and just like see all of us moving. Yeah, this my turn. Be like evolve. Mm -hmm. I think. Hold on, unless I can. Um, I think I might have. Um, let me let me just check something real quick. I may have a thing. I just realized Ruhan can actually only move five feet at a time <laughs> unless he dashes. And then it's a whole ten. Well, it'd be. 
he doubles it to 30, which is half to 15 because of the chelp, or the tangle terrain. So 15. It's multiply by two, but then divide by two. So therefore you did fucking nothing, except you're not stealthing anymore. <laughs> because if not, it rounds down. I think I put that in there. It rounds down into the next five foot interval. But I put round up, that's it. Round it down, yep. Oh, thanks, pass me, thinking ahead of time. Okay, I think I'm gonna call in another sorcery point. Oh my god, okay. Yeah. Um, Ooh, I imagine so... you guys die later, that'd be crazy. <laughs> Catching all these things. <laughs> no, don't, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll I'll carry us through that. Probably, uh, Chad, fighter. Okay, yeah, so I, I'm going to leave this to your to you to whether or not this is possible, Crash. I'm going to call in a, another subtle cast, so no verbal, no somatic opponents. Okay. Um, but... And I'm going to cast Shape Water. You have Shape Water? I do. That's convenient. Since when? Since we started. What well, the fuck? You didn't use that during the fucking fight against the Royal Guard. Wait, no, since we leveled up. Oh, since we love what M. Yes. Oh, I... yes, yes. What does Shape Water do? Uh, you choose an area of water that you can see within range that fits within a five foot cube. You manipulate it in one of the following ways. And the effect that I'm interesting in, interested in is you change the water's color or opacity. The water must be changed in the same way throughout. This change lasts for one hour. Can I okay. change the water of the square that I occupy just above me so that it looks like the same uh, color as the rest of the tangles? Is no, another... this, the okay. same color the same color as the as the as the um, ground underneath underneath me, like the like um oh, okay, so you're trying to make an illusion that you're not actually there. Yeah, I'm trying to make it look like there's something in the water that's kicking up sand, like an animal or a creature. Where you are? Right on top of me. He's like, trying to be the not, not an active, I'm not like, sure. Oh. I'm not sure if that's to affect your... I get what you're saying, but I'm not sure if that's to affect you why. Because if they notice there's something here, they might just spend more time investigating. That's true. If you make those, like, nothing here in the first place, you know, that's fine. Well, oh, okay, I'll, I'll, it must be uniform f without, right? So I'll I'll make I'll change the color of the water, the opacity, to sort of try myself, make myself blend in. Yeah, that's what. Okay. I'll do. Okay. Um, I know where they're moving. I'm not telling you where they're moving, because obviously your character doesn't know. If they pass over you, you'll make a um, Arcana check. And then they'll roll an investigation check. Okay. So we can test it. And if they if you if they fail, or if you fail, it won't change the roll, the sneak roll, the stealth roll afterwards. But if you succeed, then it'll give you advantage. Or okay. triple advantage, rather, because you have advantage. Yeah. Well if they're directly above you actually, then it would be a minus two. So we'll just say it undoes the minus two and then you just keep the advantage normally. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, it is real nice turn. You can only move five feet because <laughs> Rounds down, so it's 7.5 right now, so rounds down to the next 5-foot interval. Oop. Actually, oop. <laughs> it, moved, it moved diagonal. Alright, it is Abigail's turn. She's actually fucking invisible right now, so she really doesn't have to give a shit. Um, Deuces. She's gonna hang out next to Lorelei. Or wait, that's, that's not 15 feet, but... We're gonna hang out in the vicinity of Lorelai. In the vicinity of Lorelai. Alright, now the moment of truth. Which way is the 60 foot guard patrol moving? Where indeed? Where indeed? Now, I actually have three potential directions. Because you guys haven't given them any notice that you exist thus far. So, 1d3? One, 1, 2, and 3. I pray for 3. Why don't you uh, just go back the way you came from? Yeah, that's oh, yeah, an option. That's, yeah, Secret option cool. four, the fuck off the map. The D3. I agree, I agree. And then Barrett gets caught. <laughs> Damn it! So they move <laughs> right to left. Hey, remember what I was thinking? Man, I should really move. Just... Oh, wait, no, that's right. It's above the map. 
All right, so uh, you guys are all still within the range of it. That being said, they did pass over you, Cork, so make me that arcana roll. I think I have a plus five to this. That's, uh, uh, yeah. Oof. Let's see. High roll. <laughs> 11. Okay, uh, Reroll re again. Roll again. If it's, if it's the same. Nope. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's so unfortunate. Would you like? It doesn't my... matter what I roll because I still win. Would you oh like my... my inspiration? If you want to go with that inspiration, you know, be my guest. Be my guest. You guys can tell telepathically communicate to one another. By the way, Lorelai's tel uh, telepathy goes out like a, like a, I want to say 120 feet. If you sure, I'll, I'll take it if you're willing to give it up. Yeah, just go for it, man. That's <laughs> again, like I don't know what the qualms are for this. Oh, that's way better. That's way better. Yeah. I don't know what the calls are for this mini game. If if one of you gets caught, you all take a game over, or that person just has to I don't know do a one on one with me or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. well, let's let's not find out right now. Oh, still better. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Oh, you take, well. You're still within pass about traces, I think. So you take a minus two, but you also take a plus ten, so you still add eight to your roll. Hmm. All right. So let's start from uh, well, closest to farthest. Rose, make me a roll. You How get a plus about... ten. Plus ten, but nothing else. That means that plus ten is pretty fucking sweet. Yeah, but I still I would have disadvantage, wouldn't I? No. No. Okay. I, I have disadvantage. Armor. Oh yeah. Have you been rolling that this whole time? I. So I asked if I did, and you said you I would have advantage from something. I can't remember what it was, so I just been rolling it neutral. Right. Yeah, I think, confusion. I, was talking, I think I was talking about the tangles or something. Possibly. Because you're because you're talking about like going into them. I'll just roll a disadvantage. I'll let you roll straight. I'll let you roll straight for this one because you you you're honest with me, so I appreciate that. So you can roll straight. Okay. Not that it particularly matters. All right. Well, they have a plus six to their perception, so you literally have a fifty-fifty crapshoot. I'm gonna inspiration that because I still. Yeah, sure. Don't get six. I got eight. <laughs> okay, it's not a 50 crap shoot. Now it's like a 60 40 crap shoot. Uh, uh, I believe right. you. Well, right. I said like uh, that, next up is, is Korok. Uh, not a plus 10, but we got a plus eight. Still pretty nice. Uh, do I get advantage for being in the thing? No, because they pass above you. <laughs> right, right. Okay, so straight roll. If you if you beat them in the other then yes, but no. Straight roll. Mm. Plus eight. Mm hmm. For another now one. That'd be crazy. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I hit it, but it's not. Oh, there you go. yeah, you got 32. You're fine. See, see, you guys can tempt fate and just roll well, lol. Just get good. Next up is Lorelei <laughs> herself, my princess. Stealth plus 10. 24. Okay, okay. Abigail has like advantage plus 10, so. Uh, this will be fun. Get a one. Get two ones. If she gets two ones, then I'm calling the fucking divine favor shit, dude. It's like the fucking three two. The tomo favors I'm looking at. Eleven plus ten, so twenty one. A respectable number. A respectable under those circumstances, under this circumstance, surprisingly low. Fia, you are next. Okay. So you um. Don't fuck it. Don't fuck it. Let me let me double check some stuff here. So you're in the core right now, and you're not detected. Yet. You're not noticed yet, so you still get a plus three. Okay. Plus, you don't get the plus ten from Lorelai though, because you're not in range. But you got a plus three. That's pretty nice. Okay. So I'm hoping to move into that part there. So if I finish my oh, turn, no, 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 don't, don't, don't talk to me about moving yet. This is just to see if you're fucking detected right now. Oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. That's fine. Shall I roll stealth? Yes. Still plus three. Still Well, we'll add the plus three afterwards, but... Okay, okay. 22. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Nice. You're on part of the people that have passive other trace on them. Next up is Ruhan. He has advantage. He's got advantage. Our boy. Our big boy covered in kilt and stuff right now. I ain't going him. back. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna take me alive, I ain't going back. That place is hell. God, Ooh. he's the one without the disadvantage armor. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Oh, you roll a a five and a seven, so a six and an eight. 
<laughs> My time has come. <laughs> I thought you said you were going back. You Apparently, you do have rookie is. rolls as well. Oh yeah. I don't. I used them all. We, we haven't taken a long, long rest. rest. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I love how like three of us said that at the same time. <laughs> oh shit. This is a. Man, this is actually a really good way of making rangers. Watch, we're something. all gonna be like super panicked to paranoid, and they're gonna roll like two. Yeah. <laughs> I had this as a total potentiality that you guys would come into this fight all frightened, by the way. <laughs> that Abigail was just like, oh, well, it's actually pretty fun being the only not afraid one in the group. You guys could stay that way. That was totally in the cards. All right. That's then an eight. They have a plus that. six, my friends. They have a plus six. Uh, oh, baby. Let's see. Who's going to do that? <laughs> He's the thing. He's not automatically caught, but he yeah. is detected. Mm -hmm. Twelve. That wasn't Ooh. even like a good roll, but they were going pretty bad on those actually. But Ruhan is noticed amidst the kelp. I will put a oh, yeah, lightning bolt. Taking advantage of that shit, unfortunately for him. They are allowed to move immediately. When they detect someone. All right. All right. Oh boy! Oh boy! These are these are hit, kicking up now. All right, it's Varric's turn, and since they're on the other side of the fucking <laughs> place, <laughs> he just he, fucking run. He's literally just swimming. He's like, I haven't seen I haven't seen anything yet. Varric is like the he's like the character in like a horror movie, which you see in the first like ten minutes. Then they disappear for the whole movie, and then they're at the end with like the key item that you, they, that ever needs to escape. He's like, what happened, guys? I was just I out having a campfire. Roasted some s'mores. What are you guys doing? A chiller? Whoa, that's wild. I lost three of my best friends. <laughs> Whoa, dude, that's wild. Okay, um, well. They are, for the purposes of right now, they are not above the trench, like line of sight wise, in terms of like it doing stuff to the trench stuff. Sure. So you can move full speed. Cool. Unless they move right back, in which case, you know, they're not going to move right back, right? Oh, yeah, also, my bad, my bad, my bad. Their aura of detector. Area of detection increases by five feet at the beginning of your turn. Which I imagine. For my, now my, 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 it's in that area. Five feet, five feet. For Varric's turn, another five feet for your turn. <laughs> so, Rose, if you are detected at any way, shape, or form, you, this is an automatic game over for you, my friend. It's like, it's like, this is like Spike Kids 3, dude. Remember With Sylvester Stallone. I, I should fucking move. <laughs> And everyone's just like, oh no, this is the best spot. Wait, you should hang out over here. Hold on. Sylvester Stallone was in Spy Kids? He was in Spy Kids. He was. Uh, he was the villain. Yeah. He, was Wait, oh. yeah. he was the villain in oh, Spy Kids 3. Okay. It was there, like, fantastic. There was like a military that. version of Science. I do not remember on the account of I've never seen it. Uh, Spy Kids 3D. It was Spy no, Kids 3D, not Spy Kids 2. Yeah. Right, I gotta get off my headset years. for one minute. Yeah, go crazy. I'll, I'll post a picture of Sylvester Stallone in Spy Kids 3. Spy Kids 2 had that, like, really deep moment of, do you think God stays in heaven do because he's afraid of what he created? Do you think God stays in heaven because he, too, fears us? Don't look at me like that. I'm not, I'm not crazy. Also, there you go. Oh, my God. So Judy, it's not about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and not take a game over. Not take an L, Judy. <laughs> All right, Fia. Oh, okay. Um, well, naturally, I'm going to get the hell out of their sight to zone. Um, the science one. I mean, you're in their sight zone right now. Thank you. Yeah, but if I go 30 feet, I could, like, go there. If you fucking move 30 feet, you know, they might just move back and instantly detect you. Oh, shit, I thought I had full... Oh, wait, it's only 15 feet still. It's 30 feet, but it's a matter of if they move one space back into seeing the trench, you're fucked. It's basically, do you want to tempt fate and assume the direction they're going to go towards? Because they can just move back. Or they can move forward and catch Ruhan. Who knows? See, now you've made me scared to move again. Nice <laughs> job. <laughs> I, I, okay. may, I bring this up because that's just how the mechanic is. Like, you can move, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 30 feet as long as they're not seeing you. Because then you're not stealthing. But if they do move over the trench, it can see down the trench. It's a pretty straight shot. Look at it. It's a pretty straight shot. And you're not stealthing, then it's an auto detect. Not an auto capture, but though similar to Ruhan right now, they're just going to spot you and then their circles are going to begin growing. 
And you can you can sneak perception check out of this, by the way. This um circle. The, yeah. Like you can get the you can go back to hidden status. But it's a matter of can you do that before the circle hits you. So for Ruhan right now, he's fucked. Because they'll move before he can make a check. Mm -hmm. But for you guys, you know, you guys are fine. You guys aren't in that red area. How, how big is the red area supposed to be at this point? 10 feet. It will grow by another 5 feet at the beginning of Rose's turn. And another 5 by Lorelei's, another 5 by yours. Okay. So... Rose is looking pretty bad. Pretty, I'm it gonna would, be caught if it, I breathe. It, it also decreases by that same speed. So, assuming Ruhan goes back to being invisible or stealthed, it would decrease by that same speed. Yeah. So, so how does it work? Do you have to, because since since Rose is almost, is she on the like the border of it? Like how, how does that work? She's yeah. in it, but since she's not the one that's been noticed, she's not affected by it yet. Oh, okay. So it's a matter of like. You guys are all holding your fucking breaths, and then the guard is walking around like, What's that smell? It smells like Minotaur. I'm gonna check over there where I'm getting the smell. None of you guys smell like Minotaur. You guys are fine. You guys are holding your breath and just waiting for this guy to walk past. Mm. But if he decides to, smells like tiefling around this crate here. Hey, wait a minute. It's like that. Like, he's not so... noticed you guys, but. Dang, these guards have some hella racist scent. <laughs> I just I smell like that great though. example. <laughs> I okay. smell a human covered in ink. So if I were to move 15 feet into this other bit of Kelpie there, would I have to do another stealth check then? Uh, at the beginning of their turn, yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just do that. Right. I guess Ruhan could re-high at the beginning of their turn. I haven't necessarily laid out whether or not that rule happens at the beginning or end of their turn. Mm -hmm. So basically before or after they move. I guess it would happen after they move, or else like the minus two for being above you one kick. Yeah, that has to be at the end of their turn. Never mind. All right, so you stealth across. You give up the plus three for to get the plus two. Is it plus? Um, I think it's plus two. Wait a minute. Let's see. Seaweed so patch. the coral gives a plus two with an additional plus one for being in the trench. The seaweed gives a plus one, which goes up to plus two. Mm -hmm. So, do you want to take a? bit of a loss on the modifier. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to sort of edge my way out of the zone of view, as it were. The search area? Yeah. Right. There's, air, there's search area, which is the yellow area, and then there's an area of detector, which is the red area. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. trying to sort of get out of that so I can just <laughs> move it on by. <laughs> alright, alright, that's fine. You can join Barry. Yep. Alright. Alright, at the beginning of Rose's turn, the Detection area grows by another five feet. How about we don't? Well, so, it's gonna keep going until Ruhan goes back to hidden status. So if I go, or if, until he gets captured. If I go out of the trench, they will see me instantly. No. No. Okay. If you go out of the trench and want to move anywhere, they will see you instantly because you need movement to get somewhere else. It takes your movement to leave the trench. Yeah. 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 But if you want to go away from the trench, that requires you to not stealth and dash, which means auto detection. Game over, in the words of Sylvester Stallone and in Spike Kids 3. Would I be able to, like... It's a weird, like, workaround of the dash, but, like, go up and then action surge to move 15 feet for my action on that one, but not have it count as a dash? Does that make sense? You can. You just okay. get another action is essentially what it is. So, so then it'd be 5, 10, 15. So then be up as my movement, action surge to move again. 15 feet. And then I could, yeah. could I use my action once I'm outside of its red zone to move again? Basically, order of operations it? Or would that be too No. Bad? Because now you would be unstealthing. Okay, that's totally fine. Um. I mean, if you get detected, you know, you'll save Ruhan, right? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. My entire goal is to save the fucking Minotaur right now. Because, oh, God. I don't know. Maybe you're a team player. That being said, they move an automatic 30 feet as soon as they notice someone, so. <laughs> uh, yeah. I I am going to use my action surge, then, to do that 5, 10, 15. So she's going to use her movement to go up, and then action surge to move to the left. Right. Definitely going right. 5, 10, 15. I don't know, you could be directly on your phone. I think that would be pretty cool. No, I'm cool. Uh, 10, 15, so there. 
Okay. Okay. And then I say, hi, Gork. And I don't say that. Actually. Yeah, just say, you really shouldn't say shit right now. Don't say anything. Alright. Alright, it's Lorelai's turn. Panic, 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 panic. Where to be perfectly is... honest, like... Oh, wait, my bad, my bad. I gotta move it. I gotta extend this out five feet. Nope. Should I, nope. Should I put in, like, a one last game over or, not, like, save or die mechanic for when you get put in the red circle? Like, it's not like save your ass right now, but I'm trying to wonder as a game concept, uh, game design. Well, it's up to you. For fun! <laughs> How do you feel, man? I'm obviously biased and say yes, because please save our asses. <laughs> But again, bias. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll get to that in a second. Let's do Lorelai's turn. So she's gonna move back 30 feet to that kelp patch that Abby was just at. Oh, but then you guys don't get past without a trace, do you? Hmm. Help. <laughs> Is Lorelai brave enough to just fucking go for it, anyways? Fuck it, why not? Hope and pray. She Fuck it, why not? She goes closer. <laughs> Oh, baby. Alright, uh, she could go another 30, technically. She could dash and just pray that they don't ever come over the trench again. That means that's crazy, so... Alright, so, Cork, it is your turn. But the thing is, Ruhan is now caught in the area of detection, so I don't know what happens now. Hmm. Okay. Well, since I had an idea, but since... Do your turn first. Do your turn first. Since, since Rose... Moved. Yeah, my idea doesn't work anymore. <laughs> let me let me read my own rules here. Okay, let's see. Then they're caught, and they're if it, if they ever enter the area of capture. Okay, so it's not a matter if they begin their turn there. It's just literally as soon as you enter it. <laughs> oh, do you have any plans to? You're in the tangle forest right now. You can see the hippocampi coming. Closer and closer, soon they're going to be directly above you. You got any plans uh, up your uh, up your sleeves? Uh, uh, you got the kelp from earlier, I guess. I don't know. Activate the my Uvar stone and give them disadvantage. Well, there's no rolls. Like if they get to you, that's it. Like you're already in their zone of detection. So. Oh. Uh. Yeah, there's no rolls associated with it. Um, shoot. How's every is everyone else looking okay? Like, no. Uh, no. Just if you no. want to activate your, your Uvar rune and then get more advantage on top of the shit you rolled before, which caused you to fail in the first place, I would allow it. Uh, I guess so. I was just okay. thinking I could, uh, I don't know, take one for the team and just swim for it. <laughs> The thing is, the thing is, you don't want to get caught either, because then they will just begin searching the area even more thoroughly. So. Uh, okay, true. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for the. Uh... You already had advantage, so this is the case of triple. Let's go. And I'll just uh, throw the coral up over me and uh, hope for the best. What did uh, that being said, I'm gonna be off my mic for like. 10 minutes. Uh, I will tell you that you're not detected anymore. You, you got 15 versus their 12. But you didn't have to call in the rune. Yeah, hey, I'll take, it. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. So I, 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 I won't undo the entirety of their red circle, but I'll move it down. It's 25 right now. I'll move it down. So same rules. Round half and round down. So I'll move it to 10. You guys hear in Elvish, aka only one of you can understand Elvish, but Lorelai translates it for you guys because mental telepathy. One of them is like, no, you idiot, that's just a... Ah. And then, uh, none of you can see Lorelai right now, but you guys could you guys could hear in like a telepathic voice her giggle to herself. <laughs> All right, so yeah, Cork, what do you want to yeah. do? Yeah, so, okay, this changes a few things. Um, I don't want to be too harsh on you guys because it's the first time we're using it. Even though I think it's pretty simple to get, but you know, I'm I, I of course I think it's simple. I made it. Oh, I'm gonna great. try and sneak over, so twenty feet, right? Twenty feet, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can I if I sneak here? 
That would be just outside, yeah. Wait, where are you? Where, where were you before? 20 right feet here. backwards. Right next to Rose. Uh, that is not taking up like half of that space, so yeah, that is, a, that is not in the tangled forest there. So that would mean if they look back, I'm auto-detected? No, if they look back, you still roll. It's just a matter of you don't get the benefits of being in the forest. Okay. So it would just be for you a straight roll. No pass without trace, no advantage, no nothing. You're just doing a straight roll. Wait, break. You guys will be fine. Just okay. just go for it, dude. If you dash, though, you're auto-detected as soon as you step out of the table. Ah, first. damn it. 50 minutes. Oh.